man, that ain't right, bro. It's not right how they did my man's lucky white head like that, bro. Like Jerry Jones and them, y'all not righteous for that one, man. And for those of you who don't know about the situation, Lucky Whitehead was cut today after it was reported that he was um, arrested back in June, I believe, for a convenience store robbery. And apparently, it's a, it was a, it was a case of mistaken identity. It was somebody who had Lucky Whitehead's identity, which, you know, things of that nature. And basically, Lucky Whitehead was never even arrested for the whole situation. And it was wrong. Like I said, it was a mistaken identity. But the Cowboys, without even gathering all the facts of the situation, all they, all they heard was that Lucky Whitehead was arrested for this robbery. And they cut him right there now. And that comes after, you know, the whole drama with Lucky Whitehead's dog being taken from him. And that being a big local news story. Well, not even local news story, a national news story. You know, on Twitter, social media, and on, you know, the, you know, the uh, media outlets, on TV. So, on top of the dog situation, we had this arrest. So, I guess that was enough to, for the Cowboys to just be like, you know what, man, this dude making too much noise over the last couple weeks. We don't even want no parts of it, man. They just cut him. Now, unfortunately, man, Lucky Whitehead fell victim to something that happens very common in the world of sports and not just on the professional level. Lucky Whitehead fell victim to the rule of talent. Now, as I said, this doesn't happen on just the professional level. This dates back all the way to high school. I've seen it myself. I was a part of it. When you have talent, that leash is long. When you have an enormous amount of talent, people will put up for you with your crap. Allen Iverson had a, an enormous amount of talent. So the Philadelphia 76ers in the early part of his career, they was willing to put up with the bull that he was putting them through. Fast forward to right now, Ezekiel Elliott has a ton of talent. So despite the domestic violence accusations, despite him pulling down a woman's bra, despite the whole, the, the car accidents and everything, the bar fights, everything he's been involved in, despite all that, he's still on the team. But then you got Lil Lucky Whitehead. Lil Lucky Whitehead not going to Pro Bowls. Lil Lucky Whitehead is not a starter. Lucky Whitehead is not making plays and, and, and changing games and saving games and winning games. Whitehead not doing that. So while Ezekiel Elliott got the, this a leash this long, Whitehead leash is about this long, you hear me? And as I said before, this is not just on a professional level. Even in high school, when I was in high school growing up, the guys, you know, the guys who were who had a lot of talent on the basketball team, who were the best players, they had a longer leash. You know, they could they could get in trouble in class, and the most punishment they would get was some suicide, some running, some kind of conditioning. But the guys who weren't as talented, the guys who the coaches didn't see as a level of importance, as, as, as a necessity, they get in trouble one or two times in class, they're cut. And that's just the nature of the business when it comes to a lot of things, but especially sports. You're not even talented enough to force to even be dealing with this. Why are we dealing with you? Now, I don't make this video to say that Lucky Whitehead isn't talented. I love Lucky Whitehead. Me personally, I'm gonna miss the reverse handoffs. I'm gonna miss the kick returns. He was an explosive player, man, but we did draft Ryan Switzer in the uh, draft. So, and apparently, everything Lucky Whitehead could do, so can Switzer. So I guess they saw it as, man, Lucky Whitehead just an interchangeable part, man. We drop him off, we, pick up, we already picked up this piece, this younger guy who ain't giving us no problems, and that's what it is, man. But unfortunately, it had to happen to Lucky Whitehead. I don't think it's right because I feel like he got released because of the arrest and he wasn't even arrested. It was a mistaken identity. But man, that's life, man. We, we just got to work with the cards we dealt. But Cowboys Nation, man, what y'all think? Guys, kings and queens, man. I'm out here, man. I'm out here, man. Hey, remember to like, subscribe, all that, all that. You know, here today, you're gone today, man. I'm out.